Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Frostfire Keep Faction event. A high-level team, a mid-level team, and a low-level team. And with a little catch like always, uh, this time I got two Guild Wars teams for you. It's Guild Wars right now as you're watching this. So I have the blue team and the yellow team that you could use this week for Guild Wars. Pure yellow, pure blue. That's the restriction for Frostfire Keep. It's yellow and blue. So of course you can use stuff like Finesse or Gob Truffle Shuffle, Queen Beatrix, uh, Chalcedony, stuff like that. But here is an all yellow team for you. This is my yellow Guild Wars team. It does pretty good most of the time. 4-1 and one or 5-0, and oh, bracket 2. Um, we got uh, Gorgatha. We got Rope Dart, we have Divinish Bala, and we have Keelan. So it's pretty much your Divinish Bala Keelan team, uh, but with uh, Gorgatha at the top instead of the uh, Moon Rabbit, because we want it to be all yellow. Gorgatha's a good mana gener generating tank, so pretty good to have in that first slot. Um, also, look out for Bork. I've heard. I don't have Bork yet because I'm free to play, but I've heard that Bork is pretty good. I prefer the Gorgatha most likely. I probably won't be putting Bork on my team, um, but yeah, you could if you want to, um, but I would just go with this one, pretty, you know, Gorgatha, Rope Dart, Divine Spala, Keelan, so Divine Spala, Keelan team with the Rope Dart with the Gorgatha on it, so you got to look for the conversions with this one, so you want to look for red to skull for Divine Spala, you want to look for uh, green to yellow with Divine Spala, you want to look for brown to skull with Keelan, and purple to red with Keelan, make sure you have alignment, Cast that Keelan before you cast the Divine Ishbala if you can, and uh, it'll go super well. Cast the Rope Dart when you don't have anything else, and use the Gorgatha to get everything up and to be your tank. Gorgatha also cleanses itself, so if it gets like entangled, it can cleanse itself. And that team works really good for Guild Wars and for any faction that uses yellow. Alright, here is the blue team. So Guild Wars blue team, all blue. Uh, also pretty good for this. If I was really going to run this faction, though, I probably would change these teams up a little bit. At least this one. Like the yellow one, I'd probably just run the way it is. But this one I might change up a little bit if I was going to run it on a faction event. But I'm showing you Guild Wars teams as I show you faction event teams. So I'm just going to show you my exact Guild Wars team. Psycho Sycorax. We got Queen Beatrix, Jar of Eyes, and the Mirage Queen. So an all-blue team. Mirage Queen starting everybody with 50% mana start. Uh, Elementalist, of course, on Guild Wars. You know that. Even with the last team, Elementalist. Uh, Sycorax, get it up as soon as you can. If you can get it up and you can start looping, you're going to win. If you have trouble getting it up and the other and the enemy team gets like a hot start, you might lose. But it's pretty good at winning. Um, get up Sycorax. Cast Sycorax on either blue, green, or brown. Preferably blue or green. Brown is like your last resort, but if you have to do it, you can keep looping on brown, get incidental skulls, get incidental mana from everybody else. Look for those green conversions with the Mirage Queen, because Mirage Queen, uh, Queen turns green to Doom Skull, so you're looking for that. And then uh, anytime you just don't have that, cast the Queen Beatrix. Uh, Jar of Eyes is just there to save you. If you lose Sycorax, you can cast uh, the Jar of Eyes and bring something back into first slot. It makes an Ice Storm. Everything on our team is blue, so it's nice to have that Ice Storm. Uh, but yeah, that's my blue Guild Wars team. If I was going to change it up at all, I might do like the Psycho Mega Missy or something like that. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to use this one. Queen Beatrix does hit pretty hard. True damage to all enemies and can get extra turns. Sycorax is a really good tank and mana generator. Jar of Eyes is awesome for summons. Um, so it should work. That thing could probably go to 500. By the way, I'm doing this outside of the event so I can get you the teams as soon as possible. You're going to be doing this during the event. You're going to have way more potions and stuff. Um, you're going to do every single room as you go through the event. You're not going to skip by rooms like I'm doing. Just by the way. All right, here's the last team. So we had yellow, we had blue. That's my two Guild Wars teams. So this is now the low level team. This is not a Guild Wars team. It might be like if you're really low level and you're just doing Guild Wars and not caring about the colors. Um, that is a thing that happens at the beginning of the game. You don't always use the color of the day. If you're a low level player, you might just use your Rowan team, whatever it is at the time. Uh, so we got Shield Over Sky, Rowan, Harpy Mage, and um, Malkandessa. So, 
basically the Rowan Shield of Urskaya with two mana generators to get them up. Uh, early on, you're just going to cast the Rowan, wipe everything in one shot, use your guard metals. Later on, you will cast that Shield of Urskaya onto your Rowan. Rowan boosts off of armor and hits really hard. And you just cast the Shield of Urskaya on Rowan, cast the Rowan, wipe them all out. Harpy Mage's second turn in power. You got your potions. Explode, enchant. She will get up on second turn. If you don't have that Malkandessa alignment, just wait for the Harpy Mage. Cast the Harpy Mage on Rowan, and then cast Rowan. Or if you need to do the Shield of Her Sky, cast the uh, Harpy Mage on uh, Shield of Her Sky. So the ideal battle would be like, okay, you got Malkandessa alignment. You cast Malkandessa first. It gets up Rowan. Next turn, Harpy Mage gets up. You cast that on Shield of Her Sky. It gets up the Shield of Her Sky. Cast the Shield of Her Sky on Rowan, gives her a bunch of armor, then you cast Rowan, and kills everything in one shot easily. But like I said, in the early battles, you don't need to do the Shield of Her Sky. You could even use, like, Black Manacles or something. Uh, also, shout out to Triple Dwarven Gate with the Black Manacles. I almost showed that, but I thought, you know, Rowan, you got Rowan, why not use it? Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tear, get about the channel, comment below, and I'll see you at the live stream tomorrow, 11.30 AM EST.